<laughs> Guess why I'm happy. No, you're not. You can't be a good Baha'i and be happy when someone else is sick. To rise oh, no, no, no. above them. No, I'm not happy that somebody else is sick. There's going to be people who are sick. I'm happy that the person who can teach the most by being sick is sick. Ooh. Mm-hmm. I always hate that our thoughts and <laughs> prayers are with them. What the hell does that mean? I'm getting sick of hearing the leader of the free world. What there's is no the rest way, of the world? There's no way on earth that anybody outside the USA thinks of Trump as the leader of the free world. What? What are the is the rest of the world jailed? I don't understand free world. What's that mean? Well, that's the other part of it. Like, well, you, I think free is connected to those who have democratic elections. Oh, I see. You know, freedom to choose. But given the number of other countries and the number of people in those countries who are members of the free world, I don't think that Mr. Trump is the leader of the free world. Maybe they could stop saying that. I wish they would, but they won't because it's an American thing. It's rah, 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 we're the best. We're the best. Rah, we're rah, the best. Mm -hmm. My grandfather had a real sore spot about the Americans because the, the Americans came into the war, Second World War, late in the war, and then they did a lot. But the way that they would talk, they would always say, you know, if it wasn't for us, you'd be speaking German and stuff like that. Really galled my grandfather. Yeah. He and his uh, brothers, all five of them in total, went off to war and all returned. That's pretty amazing. That would make a good story. Mm -hmm. Maybe even make a good movie. Right. <laughs> I don't happen to know the stories of all the different people involved. But Speaking of good stories and good movies, what's the guy, Wolverine guy? What's his name? Hugh Jackman. <laughs> you have to look for this commercial, okay? Advertising a pair of boots or shoes. Mm -hmm. And he's sitting opposite the head of the company in a, in a chair. And I think he's got his feet up on the guy's desk. Mm -hmm. He's naked. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And the guy from the company is trying to convince him that, it's, that he doesn't only, he doesn't have to only wear the boots. <laughs> <laughs> and he's moving. <laughs> And the guy is like, but really super this is uncomfortable. On, you saw it on the internet, I guess. Uh, yes, on the internet. Mm -hmm. I think it was a uh, Twitter um, the commercial that came up somehow. A Twitter commercial. Well, I saw it on Twitter, but it is a commercial. But it's a promo even, you for the. You don't even look at Twitter. I sometimes do. Are you a tweeter? Nope, I don't tweet. Are you a twit? <laughs> Couldn't let that go by. Nope, I'm not a tweeter, but I'm a twitter. I was crying today. <laughs> what? I was crying today. But what? Ottawa is in lockdown again. I call that. We have three hot spots in Ontario, Ottawa, Peel, and Toronto. Is Peel well, not Peel part is, of Peel Toronto? Peel is next door to Toronto. Peel is uh, Brampton and Mississauga the last time I checked. Anyway, so we've screwed ourselves again. 58% of cases, positive cases in Ontario are those age 40 and below. Mm -hmm. um, most likely uh, indoor restaurant eating is the problem, which, duh, what about house parties? They didn't talk about house well, parties. It, house Have parties, you been to a house, house party? House parties got bad enough that Ford passed, I think he passed a law that said if you had X number of people beyond, like, you know, beyond X number, you would get a fine, and there was a fine for it. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, we've been asked not to go anywhere this weekend, mm -hmm. not to, uh, no social circle. Mm-hmm. They said a uh, social circle of 25 is too many. Sounds like my husband speaking here, but <laughs> I really hate it when he's right. I'm really, I'm just, was bawling today. I got these two dollies for Charlotte. Bawling for dollies. Bawling for dollies. 
uh, from Kijiji. Mm -hmm. They're now decontaminated. And I'm going to drop off a... Just drive by and throw them. <laughs> <laughs> drop off a dinner for Andrea and Brandon tomorrow to celebrate their first anniversary. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to leave the dollies in a bag. Andrea's going to bring them in, call me on FaceTime so I can watch Charlotte open them. Because Andrea says, I said, what about if we hold open the door? I tell Charlotte I have a cold. And Andrea said, if she sees you, she'll be really upset that she can't play with you because you're one of the few people she really likes to play with. <laughs> yep, unlike me, she doesn't like playing with me. No, no, no. <laughs> no, but when she's here, she's always looking for you. Yep, always looking for me. Got to wake you up. Got to find out where you are. What are you doing on the computer? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Dolly. I, um, I don't. Dolly. Oh, so make them feeling... into a bolly, and then you can throw the dolly. So you're feeling... <laughs> so you're feeling... I'm feeling... No. Oh, Joe, you're feeling... Hard done by? You're feeling, um, um, if I was low, crying, you're feeling Lord, sad. Very oh, good. Feeling very sad. good. Feeling Takes sad. them a while to figure these things out. Now I am apparently looking into the mirror that's behind our camera so we don't automatically shut off. Or well, if it shuts off, I can't quite see. I think so it's my, my eyes aren't looking at these people. Well, you just glance over, you know. Can't you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's still red behind there? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. I am very sad. <laughs> Yesterday it cut off. Let's quickly finish off where we were. The, the thing cut off yesterday saying, Jack care. hit the cat. And then because Jack hit the cat, the cat now doesn't like little people. And that means when Charlotte comes to visit, Charlotte has to deal with the fact the cat doesn't like little people. And she doesn't understand why the cat doesn't like little people. So then what happened? One day, Charlotte... I said, don't touch the cat when one of us isn't with you. Don't touch the cat unless one of us is here. She touches the cat, the cat swats her with his claw caps on, doesn't cause her any damage, but it scares her. Mm -hmm. And she, I don't know, she made a little sound. I look over at her and she's trying to figure out if she cries, maybe she might get out of trouble. <laughs> I said, did you touch the cat? Yes. <laughs> did I tell you not to touch the cat? Yes. Uh, she call, I, we call him the baby cat. She says, baby cat bathroom, because that's where he goes sometimes for his time out. <laughs> <laughs> so she wanted to have the baby cat go in the bathroom. Yeah, and I said, no, I'm not putting the cat away because you did something you weren't supposed to do. <laughs> time to wrap up, Joe. Uh, nope, you do it today. Nope. No, I'm not doing it. There we go. You were talking. No wrap. told you we were taking turns so I'm not wrapping up when it's your turn if we do it when you are talking or whoever's talking last when the bell goes up it's going to be always you except of course today was me that's a wrap <laughs>